By the way, uh, I was a couple weeks in red carpet, right? Yes, two weeks. Two weeks. How much time has passed here? Roughly the same ish. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It, that's cool. It seems it seems that in order, uh, it seems like sometimes time passes the same rate, sometimes it passes faster, sometimes it passes slower, thus making it almost impossible to tell how much time has passed. Uh, or it passes relative different things simply because Logan refuses to keep up with it. I would recommend starting your map in the lower middle. You can leave a little space below it, but the lower middle is a good place to start your map. Okay. Almost at the bottom of the page because everything is either north, east, or west of you. The only thing to the south is the ocean. Now, also to give you a fair warning, first one where you're finding out like what's outside of San Angeles is the most complicated one because there are three, six, eight, nine different directions you could go from San Angeles. It gets easier though. I've purposely made the stuff outside of town much simpler than the sewers of disappointment as I have begun calling them as well. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> well, it's it, it's funny because I know it's down there and it's like there's a lot of exciting shit, but I'm going to stick with sewers of disappointment because everybody goes in there, either gets lost, confused, whatever, and then they're disappointed. And but they're disappointed, yeah. You, you are still considered the Mac Daddy of the sewer. So you definitely have a unique niche. And uh, there are people who won't go exploring the sewers without you specifically. So that's cool. funny. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe um, maybe Matt and Pete will want me to want to explore the sewers with me. That'll be fun. That's possible. It's possible. Okay. From San Angeles, due west is the coast road heading west. Okay. Okay. So we actually have directions now. This is a directional map, not a bubble map. Yes. Okay. It, it is a bubble map as well. I just have the bubbles in different directions. Right. Okay. Uh, northwest is railroad under construction toward Bakersfield. There's ship beyond each of these. I'm just telling you what the immediate jump is to each, okay? Yeah, sure. Do north farms. Ready for, say next when you're ready for the next. Next. Northeast is the tamed forest. The tamed forest? Tamed, T-A-M-E-D. Yeah. And then there are three different paths that head roughly east-ish. Okay, Those, which lead to? Uh, the top one leads to Route 66. The one under that is the train tracks, which go in the same direction, actually alongside of Route 66. Mm -hmm. And under that is Highway 10. The second to last one, which is southeast of you, is Shitty, ill-guarded mining road. And the last one is due south. It is ocean. You've been there before because you helped hunt a kraken. Yes. But no way to leave you. <laughs> yeah, I thought the fame would have spread a little further, you know. People are quick to forget, especially since they'd have no posters and pictures of you, and it's not on social media here. If you were to hunt a kraken in red carpet, chances are excellent people would remember that shit, and you could always point it out on your vine. Right, right. Okay. Um, I got the binox. Okay. Um, I'm looking to see what's beyond these places. You're actually. In general. You're going to have to walk and explore more. The binocs only go up to 10 kilometers, and uh, many of these places are further than that away. 
Oh, okay. All right. Because that's, that's the cool. 10 kilometers is like the horizon. Plus, you have to investigate each of these places to kind of get you, you can specify, Logan, I want to stay safe. I don't want to do anything that's going to get me landed in jail, but I want to just check this out over here, you know. So, really, to get the one, you, go ahead. Um, but yeah, it's some wandering around and shit. I'm not too worried about food. I assume that anytime you start to get low on food, unless you go deep, deep into the bush, you can simply turn around, go back to red carpet, buy another fucking case of MREs and come back. Eventually you may get frustrated with that, rent out the uh, hotel room or some sort of safety place or whatever longer, stock up on MREs and whatever, but it's not a big deal. I'm not, it's not like in real life where you'd have to walk two days out, go fuck me, walk two days back. <laughs> Now, it would help out for your speed, though, if you're able to, like, ride a bicycle or if you wanted to take up bicycle riding because they do have mountain bikes and stuff you can buy. Right. Um, and even if you suck at a mountain bike, that just means that you're doing the wobbly riding, so it's still a little faster, and you can carry gear on the bike and, of course, yeah. in a backpack if you really wanted to. Yeah, so if, if each of these locations is 10 kilometers away, then I'm definitely going to want some kind of vehicle. Uh, there's many different kinds of vehicles. Depends on what you can afford and what you want to mess with. I mean, you could get a horse, but then you're using horse handling skill and all those things that only Alex Kinley has. Because mm -hmm. who else would even think about buying that? Right. Uh, of course, if you want to ride a carriage, who's that? That's Pete, right? Because he rides carriages. Because. Okay. Right. I have anything that looks like a car that I could use my car driving skill for? Absolutely. I don't think you can afford cars, though. No, I don't think so either. Right. Um, I mean, let me see the price list. I want to see what I'm saving up for. Okay. They have car rentals? Oh, God, no. Outside of the city is a lawless, wild area where, you know, anything could happen to people and stuff. So even assuming they weren't intent on stealing shit, which they usually are, um, I mean, but you buy like a mid-range mountain bike for a gold. Okay, so I'm seeing ba your basic, um, oh, no, I can't afford a car. Mm -hmm. Repurposed was... car. These always look like they're from the wasteland made for off-road. Uh, normal car is 2,500 silver. Can't afford a normal car, but I can afford one of those repurposed cars. Hmm. A thousand, uh, the thousand silver ones. Okay. You have a thousand silver. I have twenty-three gold. Thousand okay. silver is fourteen and a quarter gold. Nice. Uh, okay, then you would only need to worry about buying the uh, freakishly expensive power source. Other than that, yes, you could definitely buy the. Uh, wasteland cars. Let's see. And um, you need the Chris. Hold on. Um, yeah, five months of power for the Chris. I don't see a price yet. It costs five thousand silver each. Okay, yeah, that's probably mm -hmm. above my pay grade. Yeah, six thousand wow. silver divided by seventy is eighty-five gold. Yeah, that's more than I got. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah, the, the cars, I mean, they had a lot of cars sitting around after the rending. So getting a, uh, I'm in the Wasteland car, not seriously expensive. Getting the Wasteland fuel, that's that's where it's uh, That's crazy. You have to go. Yeah. All right. So, um, well, there it, it is possible to get a lot. I will tell you that there's a couple of hidden ways that it's possible to pretty much make big bank in the zone, but you're going to have to come up with them. Uh, and, and it's not hunting troll. Nobody gets rich hunting trolls, just so you're aware. I mean, a 50 no. silver a pop, no. It, your trade it, That's a shit trading money for hero points uh, ratio there. Yep. Yep, I'm looking. Um, well, I had the idea of selling compound bows. Which that, I may, that may not be a bad thing. Yeah, which I don't know what the market is like for. Um, certainly, I can sell old MREs, just buy a whole bunch of those. 
Those are good treatments yeah, here. It, it, the MR, the problem with the MREs is they got food. It's just not quite as light. So, um, yeah. There's, but but there's stuff I can bring from Red Park, but I got to figure out what's oh, valuable. Yeah, definitely. And but I mean, open up a shop. I think the the compound boat. The problem is, is that how how fast will you sell them? and uh what percentage would the shopkeeper take because you'd need to have it at their shop and how many bows will make them suspicious well <laughs> yeah i that's... mean because you keep bringing like nice clean brand news maybe even still in the packaging bows to them and they're you know uh, they're supposed to be like 100 years old or some shit and they're like right I think they won't ask any questions if they're making bank, but of course um, they're gonna ask questions. These are humans. Humans are always doing stupid, self-destructive, self-limiting shit. That is our nature. All right. Well, then I just tell them I found a bow mine. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bow mine. I like, found a know, stash. A, unfortunately, you're probably gonna, you know, because if you think about how many how many compound bows get sold. I'm thinking one a month might end up be re being reasonable unless there's something wild going on or something very different. Right. So, you know, one a month, you probably end up making uh, 400 silvers out of the deal, you know, including what it costs you to buy it in the first place and the cut from the air dude, which is not a bad money over time thing, you right. know, if you get suspicious, like if you brought in, say, three bows total, but no, that's not... That's not what I call big money. No, no, uh, that's that's a steady income. That's a good idea yeah. for steady income. Do you, do you have a bargain skill? Uh, a little bit. I think I'm hobbyist at it. Yeah, you, you're probably not going to make much money unless you come up with something super clever. You're not a merchant. So you keep trying to do things that you're not built for. Merchant, woodsman, et cetera, et cetera. Like ah. Well, yeah, it's, it's just I've had limited options, and um, at some point you got to go and do something. Oh, I'm I'm totally up for you uh, exploring the great outdoors. Nobody else has done that yet. Oh, cool. All right, so I get a I get a mid range mountain bike. One gold piece, mid silver. Uh, mid range is only one gold piece, so seventy silver. I the shopkeeper tells you if you want to get. Oh, yeah, it's only seven. It's one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's happy to charge you more if that's what you want. He's not going to try to tell you how to live your life, by God. No, I just want to go touring. I just get a nice mountain bike with touring handles and um, take yeah, it out. This, to... Yeah, this is a mid range mountain bike. This is not fancy mountain bike. Fancy mountain bike costs more. I suggest the mid range one for your first mountain bike because. You may get frustrated at trying to make biking rolls and falling off a lot. You may uh, not. You may get eaten by a monster. You don't know. Exactly. So let's try and not fumble my banking. I'm gonna head towards uh, the railroad to Bakersfield. Glad you didn't choose Ocean. Okay. You you're you're doing you're doing the uh, thing now. Keep in mind, if you continue riding your bike adventure after adventure, you will be the first. PC to build a bicycle riding skill, which will be fun. Mm -hmm. But no problem. You're you're doing the walk ride, like oh, kind of a hill down. It looks a little steep and scary. Oh, I'm worried about falling off. You are that bad at riding a bike, okay? Yep. But it doesn't slow you down. That's the important thing at this point. You're not getting a lot of extra speed, but you're not getting slowed down. You're learning a new skill. So, uh, you head up there, and eventually, uh. Uh, in talking to people on the road, you find out that the next stop, because there's like trade traders coming in, uh, they look like farmers and stuff. Uh, they they tell you that Bakersfield is close to a couple hundred kilometers, so roughly a, less than a week, say five days travel. Right. If you're wanting to continue heading that way to check things out. Um, they, so this basically just goes to, there's no station, it just goes to Bakersfield? Well, no, they, they haven't, they're still building the railroad. They, they, they haven't made the railroad yet. It'll take a long time to build the railroad. They're not in a big hurry like the Crown, 
uh, cross continental. Plus, they're worried about getting attacked and shit. You could always get a job as a railroad guard, but for a PC, that is boring as shit. We'll then be playing offices and ocelots, you know. Um, but they they tell you that uh, beyond Bakersfield uh, is a, a forest of trees. They've heard they haven't been there. That it, oh, and there are small inns. So like in, during your five or four days out, you could stay at like small inns because they're about one day apart each. So like, I don't have to go through my reactions. Right. It's the same as in medieval times. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Roadside taverns. Um, uh, but beyond that, they tell you the, the stories of these magical trees that are so big that one tree you can make a whole house from. But the problem is that the trees are so big that they can't be chopped down by mortals. Right. That sounds cool. Yeah. I think I'll go check that out. All right. So I don't need to blow my MREs doing this. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, uh, I keep myself fully stocked and take a trip to Bakersfield. Um, no problem. Uh, calculate uh, the bill. Yeah. Uh, essentially, it, you're going to be going through about three silver a day for like living, basically. Okay. So that's three silver times, you say four days? Five. Four, four hours on the fifth day, you stay in Bakersfield. Bakersfield is the largest town, but it really has nothing special. Um, essentially, okay. it, 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 it's a farming town. So can I make a bike roll for each day? Um, I'll just each destination. I'll give you a bike roll until you make it, and then I'm not going to worry about it. So go ahead and give me another one. When you reach Bakersfield, you attempt to ride your bike around the town. You're thinking you wish you had a bell. You're thinking you're horrible at biking. So uh, from Bakersfield, the only direction to pretty much continue on is if you wanted to go uh, to Redwood Forest. They tell you it's probably about three days northeast. Okay, so Bakersfield is nothing special. It's just a town. Just a largish town. Uh, more farming is there. They're primarily a farming town. Okay, so there's nothing happening in Bakersfield. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's the usual problems, like it's not raining enough, and the, one of the farmers they took our jobs, you know, and stuff like that. Right. A pretty lady. We don't like your kind here. Now, Skeeter, we don't want any trouble. That kind of thing, you know. Thanks. Okay, so Redwood, and there's no ends on the way to the Redwood Forest, right? Now, now you're burning rations. All right. Now, I don't have three, I don't have six days of rations just to go out there and come back, so. Well, you can, if you wanted to, you can buy their food and pretty much use your rations when you have to. Their shit's heavier, mm -hmm. but... Uh, they definitely in the farming town you can get it pretty cheap in fact uh, half price because that's what they sell so two silver per day uh, pick up five more days ten silver what do you think uh, water I'm worried about water water is uh, heavy as fuck yes there there is pools and stuff there uh, but yeah get a water skin and stuff like that if okay you, so there's if there's water readily available that I can refill? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're a woodsman, right? Nope. Oh, okay. You'll want to take a couple of water skins here, and there you go. Okay. Uh, so let's see. 14 silver later, you have uh, two big water skins. Or if you want, you can get like, well, yeah, you should have thought of that. You're, you're, um, do you have any kind of military? Oh, yeah. You used to, your character used to be in the military. Yeah. You are now wishing you had a camel back. Do you know what a camel back is? Not aware of it, no. Uh, hold on, I'll see if I can find it for you. Let's see. Oh, they spell it weird. God damn it. Images. Here it is. It's a pack. Yes, it's a pack that has a straw that can clip onto uh, your thing. You could wear it under a backpack and stuff like that. Uh, and it contains water. It's awesome. 
but yeah, next next time you're in red carpet, you should probably put that on your list of stuff to get. Yeah, I'll mark that off definitely. Yes, um, those, those everybody who I've never personally used one. However, uh, it's uh, uh, everybody who has used one I've talked to likes them. I, yeah, I saw some people um, at protests using those when it's hot weather. Okay. You just got a straw in your mouth and a backpack. And Groovy. Yeah. So, uh, are you wishing to uh, spend the 14 silver for a couple large water skins and five days of food so you can press on yeah, or sure, whatever? Sure, I'll press on. Excellent. Go ahead and give me another biking roll. See, they're coming up. Fail. Okay, no problem. You taught you totter out there on your bike. You're doing the I'm riding by myself for the first time. Daddy, hold on to me. Don't let go yet. Type of riding. It's embarrassing. But fortunately, there's not a lot of people out this way. In fact, there's not even really a road going where you're at, which is great that you got a mountain bike. But you get out there, and from here, you have two different ways to go. Or sorry, no, you have one different way to go, but you find uh, something interesting uh, for coming out here uh, in searching around. By the way, the reason they were talking about how big these trees were, these are California redwoods. Yeah, it's, it's actually the redwood forest. Uh, yeah, fortunately, or formerly this was known as Sink, I can't pronounce it, S-E-Q-I-O-I-A, National oh, yeah. Forest. Sequoia, Sequoia, there you go. Thank you. Sequoia, yeah, you're in what was formerly known as Sequoia National Forest. But in wandering around here, you find one of the trees has a door in it, normal human-sized door painted red. And it's just sitting there in the, in the tree, closed. And you're not sure what's up with it. That's cool. You quickly find out that nothing you can do opens it. Right. But you have found out something nobody else has yet. Well, except Matt, who's wandering by behind me. He now he knows <laughs> bastard. Go ahead and take a card there for knowing stuff. Russ. For for having explored and being curious. Yeah, Which well, you're, you're having problems with the players doing that, huh? Uh well no, I don't care if they do or not, because if they don't, then they'll be like, Why didn't we know about this thing? I'll be like, You never left the city. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to chuck an opponent fails. Yes, I just chucked an opponent fails. That's how good my cards are. Oh, I'm only I'm down to six. Oh, okay, right. I, I, I use eight. Eight. Eight is your. Match. So I don't need to. I don't need to lose the opponent fails. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I need to lose the other opponent fails. So. Yeah. Uh, myself back up at eight. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. There we go. Got it. Beyond this is. Uh, a place in the forest you feel you are being watched. <laughs> okay. That's the next place it goes. Uh, I'm going to play a skill 15 and try my survival wilderness. That's a great idea, actually. Yeah. See if I can build that skill up. Mm, your water so skills are getting low. Success. Oh, you find a place with clear water and refill them. You definitely feel like you're being watched. What should I call that? Survival? Survival forest? Correct. Okay. Feel like I'm being watched, huh? You can give me a six sense danger sense roll for some more information. That's a fail. Probably your porn stash. It attracts them. <laughs> Next scene, Russ has shaved off all of his beard. Only keeping a porn stash. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's that's when you know to call uh, call emergency services. When I actually start to look like the Rock, I'm so people, into the campaign that I actually have. I've had know. people dress up as their characters before. It's like okay, all right, okay. that's really it's interesting. No larping. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Plus the larping. I'm not even including the larping. Oh God. Yeah, the larping is just. Um, Oh, it's fun, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I, I had a good time for about a decade with it. Yeah. So. LARPing is fun. All right. Um, I'm going to use tracking. 
success at half. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm guessing rock has big feet. So these feet are smaller than rocks. Definitely human. Uh, wearing uh, uh, like moccasins or something. And yeah, you're you. Uh, you're not sure what's up. So which way was it from the first rebel forest? Was that is this north? Uh, to the place in the forest you feel that you're being watched is north of uh, Redwood Forest, where you found the door. Now, keep in mind, there may be other places, but at that point, you're pretty much off of any interesting shit, and you can just, you know, slowly die in the forest somewhere. Right, right. Um, all right, I'm going to stealth. Oh, give me a stealth roll. Make it sexy. Uh, not super sexy, but let me see. Actually, my stealth is probably 70. Yeah, it's 70. That's stealth at hand. That is sexy, yes. No problem. Now give me a luck, and then a, if you make luck, a spot hidden. This is, yep. is it around? And then do you see it? And it's make around. The, make the spot hidden sexy. It's sexy. <laughs> you see... That is uh, hidden at a quarter. You see a couple of elves that are dressed up like woodlands style, you know, with the bows. They look like in D and D wood elves, right? Okay. And they're like one of them says Latin, 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 and the other one goes Latin, Latin, Latin. All right, I'm going to play a skill plus fifteen and attempt to understand them. Nope. Damn, I had a great translation ready. And then they go back to like scanning, looking. They don't have their bows. Their bows are out, but there's no arrow on the bow. Do they have quivers? Oh, yeah, they, they've got all their arrows. Oh, so they just have a knot. No, no, their bows are not loaded. Arrow, not near bow. Arrow is still in holder, not on bow. So they don't know I'm here, but they're oh, ready no. to... they, They're looking for somebody. They're like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, all right. Um, did I see what direction they came from? Uh, they were hiding, looking at the area you used to be in. Hmm. For the audience, the translation that he doesn't know, where did that fucking human go? I don't know. I was distracted by his porn stash. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know that, but that is awesome. All right. Um. <sighs> Elves hate us. I mean, they A bit. I remember that much. Oh, thank God. Otherwise, you go up, brothers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep hiding and watching them. Eventually, they fuck off. You have explored the forest. Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, if you want to follow them sneaky style, because they are fucking off, it'll be a stealth at half. Otherwise, I'll have to figure out the uh, your stealth versus their keeping an eye out because they are super fucking suspicious and paranoid looking around. Right. So it's stealth at minus thirty. Are you feeling brave? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, because you don't have to make a stealth roll. You can simply let them go and then head back south if you wanted to with no rolls required. Uh, your bike is probably hidden in a bush or something. No, I think I can take on a couple elves if I have to. Okay. Um, I'm feeling pretty brave. Let me see what my stealth is. All right, so minus 30. Would I, I'm, I'm at the point where minus 30 is better. Yeah. Good. So I'd have to, okay, I know what I have to make. Um, I'm going right, to try and follow. 40 or something. Okay. 41. It's a 41 or better. Go team. <laughs> snap, snap, snap. They whirl around. Oh. One of them goes, it's the porn star. Shoot it. And we go into. Are you going for a combat or? Were no, you I'm going to run away. Oh, okay. No problem. That is combat rounds. Uh, so let me start pulling out some cards here. 
as the porn stash has defeated you. It shows the porn stash grab a branch and crack it over itself. Yeah. God damn it, that porn stash makes so much fucking noise. Why do I why don't I shave this thing off? <laughs> Let's see. It is standard combat. Good for you. Heroes are first, villains are second. Using a flint lock is approved. You run away. Give me a sprint away roll as the uh, two elves go. That is uh, success minus 30. Excellent. Uh, they will try to chase you this round. Eh, eh, they, they're still back there. They are apparently fleet of foot. Hopefully you were fleeter of footer. So you've still got some distance between you guys. They, you were not that close to them because you're not that. You're not quite uh, freaky sneaky. So next round, heroes are first. Uh, villains are second have a chance of a great chance of getting knocked down should they take a damage maneuver, which includes sprinting, is approved. So if you can if you still want to flee, if you make a sprint roll, then you get a card. Right, yeah, cool. Um or you can sprint toward them and be ready for combat. Is it possible to pull my gun while I'm sprinting, or is that just a full out what that would be is first you would try fast draw. And if you make it, you can sprint. If you fail it, then you slow down while pulling out your gun dramatically. Right, 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 right. All right, I'm gonna try and put some distance between me and them first and maybe get a card for that. Yeah, that's a success. Nice. You run and they are chasing you through the forest quietly and keeping right the fuck up. That is not good. You maintain the gap. Next round. Villains are first. Pretending to be a forest monkey is approved. So, <laughs> guess who got a check in essence again, Logan? Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're bound to be a wizard. Right. Both of them trip over a bunch of loose sticks and stuff like that. They fall to the ground. Uh, they're roughly eight meters away. What do you do? Quick. I grab it. Success. No problem. If you make one more sprint roll and they don't, then you get away and you can continue your trip. Uh, heroes are first. Shield, nothing good's approved. You don't have a shield. So uh, go ahead and give me your sprint roll and they fail theirs. And, and I succeed it on. Nice. You uh, escape from them. You are clear of them. Okay. You leave them far behind in the forest. All that time, no noise from them. No yelling for reinforcements. Just a fucking brutal chase. Super effing stealthy. <laughs> you go find where you put your bike, uh, which, unlike a horse, doesn't make noise, doesn't require food. Occasionally you get a flat, but you fix it, that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you have explored the forest. You don't know where the elves are hanging out or whatever, or doing elven things like saying, right. hey, maybe want to kill all humans to other elves. That's what I was trying to do is find a settlement, but uh, yeah. I, my porn stash made too much noise. So. Yeah, finding an elvish settlement that close to a uh, town, that could be a feather in your cap and more importantly, some silver in your pocket. Yep, yep. I'm uh, certainly going to tell whatever sheriff or town guard there is around here that they've got an elf settlement in those woods somewhere. Well, just uh, make a note of it for yourself and tell somebody when you get to town. Yep. But for now, you've got a bike. Are you wanting to head back to, actually, now do you want to head back to town? Bakersfield? Yeah. Give me a bike roll. See if you can get a check in that shit. Nope, not yet. You're not getting along with your bike. How many days was it from the forest to uh, the town? About three. Three days. Three hundred. Have I to my MREs yet? Yeah, you should be keeping track of how many days you've gone roughly. Uh, so. Well, I wasn't sure how many days of food you set me up with from the town, and I five. Five days? Okay. So it was three days out. Three days back. So three days back. 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 And I I didn't spend much time in the forest. Was that a day? No, uh, you yeah. yeah. No, you yeah, probably a day. So you're probably eating two MREs. Yeah. You've got plenty of MREs left. 
Yeah. No problem. Um, give me a bargain roll as you talk to the uh, sheriff who's trying to figure out how much money to give you for this information. Uh, it's not worth that much knowing that there's elves in the woods. Everybody knows there's something in the woods, he says. Nope, nope. Didn't make my bargain. Yeah. Hey, roll 3D100. Add them together. That's how many silver pieces the sheriff gives you. One, two, three. Goddamn cheapskate, you think? Eh, I got average. 104 silver? Something like that? 105. Cool. You pick up some silver. Yep. Hooray. Two gold, one silver. All right, well, that's super interesting. There's a red door, and there's wood elves, and I probably want to come out here with some people. See, you're already starting to find shit. Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, so um, I take the 100-kilometer trail, trail back to um, the railroad, the railroad uh, construction site. Three times five is 15 more silver come off as you stay in different hotels and inns and stuff. It's it's. It's simple, but it's it's like you always get a, a good sized meal. It's not expensive food, but it's mostly vegetables, shit like that. Um, yeah. I'm making a note here. Okay. And. Now you are back to um, back to uh, San Angeles, I believe. You have managed to just in doing that little bit knock off one entire branch. See how quickly this goes? Yep, yep, pretty good. All, All right, right. Um, I'm going to re-enter San Angeles. Okay. And I'm going to bike around. <laughs> Give me a biking roll. That's still a fail because my learn isn't that good. People yell at you to get your bike off the street and unkind words. I will build this up eventually. Um, okay. Um, you're getting plenty of rolls out. Eventually, you're either going to hit it or break your bike with a fumble. Yeah, yep, exactly. Exactly. And it's just a mid range bike, so cool. Yeah. Um, yep. Building skills, always fun. All right. Um, I'm going to head back over to my informant. Ah, oh, yeah, you remembered him. Take the card, because I'd forgotten all about him. And what was the question you'd ask him? It was for information on... Information on Jor Hassan. Oh, he is straight as an arrow. He's got a wife and kid. Um, In-laws, his father was a guard. His, fa his father's father was a guard, etc. He comes from a long, distinguished line of... Uh, policeman. Um, he's well liked and respected in the community. Uh, he's, uh, you know, guy gives you a complete report that doesn't really have any, any handles on it. He's not taking bribes. He's, he's not uh, especially corrupt. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Everybody in the city is pretty corrupt, but he seems to be one of the good ones. He seems to actually be trying to make San Angeles a better place. Okay. Uh, I got a world of pain. I'm going to nope it, and then I'm going to full retrieve the note. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Assuming you've got a great cards and shit. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I got the cards. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, really nothing more. Nothing. There's nothing at all that's. He has no real handles. This is why Dragon Don, uh, if he had any kind of obvious handles, Dragon Don would have fucking taken the cleaners a long time ago. Yeah. Like I said, it's not an easy one. There's no obvious solution to it. All right. I give him 20 silver for his, for his trouble. Yeah. Yeah. You promised me ketamine. And ketamine I shall have. Ah. Uh. Damn, you remembered. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll split it with you. He says, we'll go get wasted right now. 
I don't give him the entire brick, but I give him a couple doses of, of special K. Hey, give me a bargain roll. He wants the entire brick. All right. Nope. Gets the entire brick. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you don't have, you end up giving him like half the brick. So now you've got half of it left. Dude. You claimed you needed it for medicinal needs, and he's like, I want the whole brick. And you're like, you can fuck right off. But if you fumbled, you give him the whole brick and maybe some silver uh, as a way of saying, I'm sorry I argued with you. But see, you're getting checks in bargain eventually if you keep this up. Eventually. Eventually, lots, yeah. Lots of, lots of skill building here is what we're after. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I just got to figure out how to get an admission at this point. <laughs> Uh, you're you're going to hit an end of mission eventually, but um, it it just depends on like if you can end it with a bit of a bang, that's going to be better. But yeah, you're you're at a you're at a two hero point uh, reward so, so far. You know, right. gotten some gotten some good exploration done. Well, you got one one out of like eight uh, directions done. Some directions are obviously longer than others, but you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, eight, except for the ocean, which, right. honestly, since I have naval, yeah, I'm going to go back to the, um, go back to the ship captain and see about hunting Kraken. Ah, well, the, the Kraken season is done, he says. Uh, when when we went out and got the big one, then the little ones were cleared up by other ships and stuff. It was a big old hunt. Yeah. Hmm. So, you know, we're moving into trading season now since the Krakens are down in number. But come back next year. Yeah. Well, let them know old Jake Wheaton, the Kraken hunter, was by to... Um, to kick some butt and he will be back next year. They like the sound of that. Yeah. Well, good, good. We're gonna be sailing to San Francisco to do some trading. Since it's kind of legal now. Yeah. Hmm. That might be interesting. What's passage to San San Francisco cost? Passage, he says, well. Are you a sailor at all? No, wait. You've been on the boat before. I know you don't know anything. <laughs> um, let me see. Hold it. Um, little bit of navigation skill. I'm looking for boating. Is that just B? Uh, yeah, I doubt you've taken three masted ship or anything like that. No, no. I got I got naval skills. I got a PT boat or something. <laughs> Yeah, no. sit right back in your hero tail, tail, faithful trip. Uh, I'm fairly useless. Hmm. He says, yeah. I know a bit about the stars and uh, and how to how to set sight by them. I would never let a land lover anywhere near me navigational charts. <laughs> Yar, not. I understand. Ever. Well, you enjoy your trip. To, you you enjoy your trip to uh, San Francisco then. Yeah, it's it's not gonna cost. It wouldn't cost a lot for the thing. Uh, it would probably charge you uh, like fifteen silvers uh, one way. Oh, yeah, it's it, it's not expensive. Uh, you know, it, plus he knows you and stuff like that. He knows you're not gonna cause any problems. And if you get attacked, then you know you'll probably fight off whoever's attacking. Uh, but. He doesn't see why you'd want to go there. It's ruled by monsters, he says, is what I have heard. Yep. Um, true enough. Okay. Logan, uh, I'm going to ask you a meta question. Sure. Are you prepared to do anything if I get to San Francisco? Uh, very little, but some stuff. Yeah, you may find out some stuff. You may end up dying horribly. You may end up finding out some information. Yeah, sure. If you want to go there, I mean... Okay. I don't mind. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's let's give it a shot. I'll uh, I'll pay for the boat trip. Are you wanting to pay for one way, or do you want to tell them that uh, like because they're gonna stay the night there and then the next day make an early start? So if you want, to basically, uh, be there for 
uh, it will end up being like eight hours or something after your uh, 73 hour boat ride. <laughs> Oh Christ! Are they are they coming back out, or is it just a quick they're, run? They're they're going there, dropping off some cargo, loading up other cargo, and coming back. Yeah, it's probably not worth the time. Okay. Well, he says if you're if you're feeling really, really, really adventurous, you could go there with us. We'll drop you off. And then you could come back via the extremely dangerous, the freakishly dangerous overland route. That would take you weeks. Yeah, that doesn't sound good either. As opposed to three days of sailing. There's a reason why we use boats, he explains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, that, that sounds most unwelcome. Unless I got stuck out there somehow. But it's adventurous, he says. An adventurer like you needs adventure. <laughs> I can't think of anything much more adventurous than that. That's true. That's true. Uh, but it's just me, so. Uh... He shrugs. Well, Gornak, the barbarian, was anybody with him? No. It was no, just him. It's true. It was just him. And his tribe of madmen. Well, them too, but they didn't count. Not like no, he did. He, he did it all. He just got them killed. Mm, no, bless poor madmen. His helpers and such, but we don't count them either. <laughs> Loading bows and holding off the minor guys while he's fighting the big ones. They oh, okay. the I'll, I'll pay for a round trip and spend a couple hours in San Francisco. Don't leave without me. Hmm. Yeah, do a, a roll for a captain to see if he might just uh, crash the boat and drown everybody real quick. Yep. So you were becalmed for part of the way. Okay. And, and then he had to put in for minor repairs along the way, which they weren't expecting to do. And the captain is fucking livid. You ended up stopping at a town called Monty. It's a large port town. Um, they have decent docks and stuff like that. Apparently, the boat he managed to get a leak sprung in and stuff. And, um, yeah, so the three day journey ended up being like a week, but they're feeding you and stuff like that. So, it, as far as you're concerned, it's like just boring as shit. However, mm -hmm. since you're spending an entire week on a boat, uh, give me uh, three learn rolls. You may pick up a new skill by. Yeah, no good. I am going to try and practice spells while I'm while I'm in my cabin on the boat. Light a candle, try and put it out. So um, here we go with extinguish fire. Enjoy. That's three magic points. Well, actually, that's two magic points plus two for the spell. Twelve. Extinguish fire. I'm also going to cut on myself and try a little healing. <laughs> That's a fail. So one one hit point, one uh, one magic job. point. Uh, that's a um, that's a fumble. Cool fumble deck. I am just I'm imagining right now before I draw the fumble card, you doing like the one hit point yeah, and cutting deep. And then just all your blood spraying out all over the deck. <laughs> Let's see what the all wise and powerful fumble deck says. Uh, oh, and well. only. Okay, cool. So uh, you do that, and then you can move on with your life because that's uh, you can't use healing anymore. You're done with that. But well, I'll make a willpower roll for overnight. Um, oh, for sleeping. You need, yeah, will times five will heal up your one point of damage. Yeah, that's good. I'm healed. Don't need to check and will anymore, so it's kind of fun, but. I was going to say, you only get a check if you need and succeed on the times three or less. Times right. four and five don't give checks. Okay, so I'm back to full magic points, and eventually we get to, I think that's enough spell practice for now. We don't want to, we don't want to grind every day, right? <laughs> Do you want to grind every day? Because I'll do more healing. 
I don't care. Up to you. Okay. All right. Day two. Fumble. Pull the cool. fumble deck. <laughs> Thank you, Jabebus. Massive strain causing D4 hit points and magic points to you. One and one. Mm. So two damage, two magic, and I can't use the spell for the rest of the day. Not that it matters, but normally I'd have people roll the hit points and magic points separate, but for now, I don't give a shit. Carry on with your life. Oh, okay. Well, I can just roll out a D4. That's not a big deal. The one hit point. Okay, you were right the first time. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, all right. Making the will check. That's will times two. All my heal. I heal back up. Day three. Hmm. Trying my healing power again. Fail. Success. So I get the hit point back, and I take three magic. And I got to check in healing. Hooray. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the megaphone spell right now. <laughs> not a good place to practice megaphone, no. No, no. All right, so... um. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take my sword out and try doing the sword trick. Okay. Success. Yay. Check and sword trick. Six magic points. All right. Eventually, after much practicing. The city itself looks kind of uh, uh, bleak when you get there. Lots of defenses. Lots of uh, hard-looking individuals. And unfortunately, some sandy rolls. Go ahead and give me a sandy roll for general just non-humans wandering around and looking evil and shit. I feel. Oh, there's a demon over there, too. God damn it, you say, as your brain attempts to squiggle out for D6. That's four. Never get off the boat. Never get off the boat, you say to yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, 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 uh, they have demons and stuff. Also, uh, there's these fucking, uh, you hear some of the our sailors talking about like, you know, oh yeah, within the city, some of the guards they use are these strange hounds, but they're not hounds and they just look like, you know, a, a, kind of like a abstract drawing of a hound. It's the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. I shit so much that blood spewed out of my asshole, you know. And none of the sailors are really anxious to leave the docks and stuff. And they send these merchants to you who are kind of fat and smarmy. And they wear strange turbans that are kind of lumpy in two spots on their heads. And they're like, yes, yes. And then some of their teeth look a bit sharp. And they're like, ah, we, we are here to trade. And the captain's like, please come aboard, honored guest. You know, would you care for some wine? And he's being very nice to them. The uh, merchants uh, teeter around a bit like uh, they're not used to their feet or something. Okay. You're right. thinking this place is just dodgy as fuck. You're thinking going into the city would definitely be an adventure, but... It might just drive you insane. It looks like near the docks, even with the demon that wandered by and these strange men things, that they're keeping this tame because it's like, we welcome trade, you know? And it, you're carrying a lot of food and stuff like that, and you're getting strange uh, boxes and such that are covered and sealed and all that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Okay. Um, the demon, just bookkeeping, the demon goes under demon, or is it like an outsider? Or Sure, you can, you, uh, do you even have outsider listed on the sheet? Um, uh, the, no, I couldn't find demon either, so I'm trying to figure right, out what uh, it this, this particular demon, there are, unfortunately for you, many different kinds of demons. Write a uh, standard red demon, uh, four out of 12. That's yeah. for the standard oh. red demon. Double yeah. max. Huh? It's it's 
it's double max for the sand loss roll. You are correct. For, for, for um, yeah. All right, so I've got four out of 12 on the standard red demons. The city appears to be built from a lot of gray basalt stones. Uh, it looks as though they have many strange uh, weapons and such near the docks, uh, various tubes and stuff. It could be, well, I mean, you've seen plenty of cannons and artillery and shit like that. It could be something like that, but you know for a fact that kind of shit doesn't work in this world. So you're not sure exactly what it is, but uh, they have scary weapons that should a ship get out of line, they can probably lay waste to it and then let the un unholy deadsons of this place get a hold of it. Also, you do see some men swarthy and unhappy looking working around. They, they look like the kind of people, if you just take General Brigand out of, you know, various pictures of hardened criminals and brigands, that's kind of what these humans look like. You know, you just look at somebody and you're like, if that guy's not a criminal, I'll suck his cock. That's how much I think he's a criminal, right? Right. Especially right, so if any, I dress him up as like a smurf first. You know, we'll any try. humans staying here are also dodgy as fuck. Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a lot of sunshine and lollipops type of people here. Right, right. Yeah, I, I was, I was just wondering if it was really a city full of monsters or if it's. Yes, yes, it seems to be. Seems to be an actual city full of monsters. Um, from twenty first century, I'm gonna make a geography roll just to see if I can figure out where I am as far as Earth, twenty first century Earth goes. Well, the city is called San Francisco. You call this a hint. Okay. But you can give me a roll. Is it in fact San Francisco though? I just, sure. Give me, give me a roll. Yeah. You have yeah. no idea. You, you've no never idea. been to San Francisco, and you don't see a big bridge, and you don't remember San Francisco being made of gray basalt stone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No no Golden Gate Bridge, and yeah, okay. Uh, I probably fell down when the aliens blew it up. All right, I don't think I want to wander off into the city, so I'm just going to keep an eye on the uh are you trade. sure with your, with your porn stash you can try to blend in and act like you were one of them, you know? Um, I'm not going to all the sand loss that's going to be involved. I wouldn't be either. This is just fucking freaky frightening. And yeah. you, you hear such strange sounds and strange cries of alien throats. Yeah. 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 This, this looks like, this looks like a, a fast trip to 15 sanity. So it really does. It really does. Yeah. Uh, if you get to 15, you'll be slightly lower than Yana was at her at her bottom. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm creeping up towards that smurf insanity, man. We're getting there. So anything suspicious about the, I mean, other than it's not. I was going to say, this whole place is suspicious. Yeah. You feel suspicious just being this close to this place. Right, right. You're, you're pretty sure that they, whatever it is that you're picking up, is, is the kind of thing that will either cause somebody to become an addict, lose all hope, or uh, whatever. Oh, give me a massive luck roll. I'm talking like at least luck at a half. If it's not luck at a half, it's just fail. That's a fail. Cool. Uh, no problem. Yeah, the, the boxes that you took on, there's like two of them compared to like full, full cargo offload. You got two boxes that are probably, say, the size of coffins. Back on. Oddly, the size of coffins. Yearly. Okay. Just about that size. I'm not saying they're coffins, mind you. But if you needed to put a body or a couple in each of them, they would fit. Okay? Right. Not saying that they're coffins. So, no, but they look suspiciously like coffins. Freakishly the same size, but it's probably just a coincidence. Right. Of right. course. So, and now the captain's sailing back row. By the way, where did you want to leave your bicycle while you were doing all this? Um, no, uh, Dragon Jesus. Dodd's not going to watch your fucking bicycle. He is yeah, a I know. Lord. <laughs> I, I think I'll just probably, it's probably a disposable bicycle. I'm going to take it out to the outskirts of town and find some place where there don't seem to be many people. And True. Travel. No problem. I know what to do when you get back if you go looking for it. Great. Hold on. Okay, cool. we'll leave it there. We'll come back to it. Captain makes his uh, make boat go roll. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You, 
for some reason you get back quickly apparently having a bit of evil on board makes you travel fast <laughs> <laughs>